So how do you create a brand that truly represents who you are and the products you sell, as well as building a business that you can scale online? That is what this podcast will help you do. My name is Henry Kaminsky Jr. and welcome to the Brand Doctor Podcast. Let me just make this statement loud and clear. Jersey's here. Jersey's here. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another Brand Doctor Podcast episode. It's your boy, Henry Kaminsky Jr., a.k.a. The Brand Doctor from UniqueDesigns.net. And today's topic is going to be around why your lead, uh, your LinkedIn lead generation sucks. <laughs> I've been able to uh, connect with an awesome, awesome individual who specializes in lead gen specifically for LinkedIn. He has a company called The Virtual Edge, and I just love the way that he brings his brand to social, brings his brand to the audience. He comes across very genuine, very straightforward, and that that jives with me. You know, that that really aligns with me. And so um I said, you know what? I would love to have you on the show. I'm always trying to level up my lead gen game. I'm not a huge, I'm not huge on LinkedIn, but I, I believe that a lot of my audience is. And I figured, how can I create more value for you guys? So without further ado, I want to introduce Matt Clark from the virtual edge. And right after this quick message, we are going to get into his backstory and how he is absolutely crushing it and how he's going to help you take your brand and business to the next level. If you're a business owner who feels your branding isn't truly representing the value that you deliver, check out this free video training that will help you level up your brand's messaging and online presence so that you can start attracting higher quality clients. Visit www.uniquedesigns with a Z at the end, not an S, dot net backslash level up my branding. All right, my dude. What is going on, Matt? Hey, Henry. Great to uh, great to be here on your show, man. I'm excited about today's conversation. By the way, love the videos and really excited to talk to you about some branding, specifically on LinkedIn today and what people can do to really up their game. I love it. I love it. I love it. So quick little backstory. How did you get into this game? I saw you started with door to door sales back when you were 19 and you were crushing it there and you sort of got, you know, you sort of got worn out and, you know, you wanted to take things to the next level. So quick little backstory and then we'll dive into some deep stuff. Yeah, man. So I'm going to really condense this. Uh, you know, what happened? I started off in door to door sales in the UK selling gas and electric, uh, then came back to South Africa, started selling telephone systems and copiers, CCTV door to door to businesses. Um, you know, I was working for somebody else, then uh, started my own company with two partners, and we grew that company to $6 million a year in four years' time. The crazy thing is, and you know how it relates, is that we didn't do any marketing, any advertising. It was all just knocking on the doors. Um, I decided, though, that I wanted to change. I wanted to have more of a life, you know, because we were just traveling and working all the time. And I heard that online is the way to go. So I really started off going to a lot of these events, these networking events, these speaker events, and I noticed something. I noticed that all these speakers standing on stage were living the life that I wanted to live. They had, they had travel, they had money, they had team, they had money coming in while they sleep, and I thought that's something I really wanted to do and how to do it online. I also noticed that they used a little program called Infusionsoft, and that really kicked my journey off. So I started... I became a certified partner. I started helping people use Infusionsoft to automate their businesses because I understood the processes. And then I found a big gap. And the big gap was that you could automate your business as much as possible, but if you don't have leads coming in to feed the beast, as it were, none of that automation matters. So we decided to go down the lead generation pathway. And all I knew was how to knock doors. I, I'm not technical. I don't know how Facebook ads work or Google ads or YouTube ads. You know, that stuff's a little bit over my head. But when I dived into LinkedIn, what I realized was that I could virtually knock doors every single day. It's what I know. It's what I'm good at. And the best part is I could skip past the, the, the gatekeeper. I could skip past the receptionist and speak directly to my ideal client. 
So I started virtually knocking doors every day. And I, you know, I started with 10 doors a day and went to 20, went to 30. And what started happening was as I was talking to my ideal clients, I mean, it was the number one thing that I wanted to do is just get in front of more of my ideal clients because I knew if I could talk to them, chances are I could close them if there was a good fit. I could enroll them as a client. And so I started getting this right and we saw that there was a pattern to this. And we thought, well, hey, if we needed it, we're pretty sure that other people need it as well. And we started helping people. And, you know, since diving full head deep, head first into LinkedIn, I mean, we've in the last two and a half years helped over 1,500 clients in 26 countries to grow their businesses using LinkedIn. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. Well, let's dive into some of the specifics here on. Perfect. And let's get back to the topic, right? Which is, which is why people's LinkedIn lead gen sucks. I mean, let's just get to the bottom of it. I mean, oh God, the amount of spam that I get every day. I mean, for those folks that are uh, watching and potentially listening, like, come on now. I, I'm sure you can relate. Like, I, I'm almost like on autopilot now, just deleting and, and just, re, you know, just cleaning out my inbox without even paying attention anymore. Yeah. So, you know, why do most people's lead gen on LinkedIn suck? Well, you know, after speaking to so many people, um, we've realized that there are three big mistakes that most people make on LinkedIn. And it actually lands up costing them at least $20,000 a month because of it and why the LinkedIn lead generation sucks. So the first one is that most people are trying to solve the wrong problem. Okay. Let me explain. So because they haven't got their ideal client dialed in, they're trying to target absolutely everybody. They are using the shotgun approach and hoping that, you know, throwing some spaghetti against the wall and seeing what will stick. They don't have clarity on who they're targeting their message is way too general. So it's not specifically solving one big problem for one ideal client. So which means that when they're trying to target, they land up targeting everybody and anyone. So what lands up happening is that you get really poor connection rates and you know you land up in the spam box or people just ticking it off and not even reading. Because of that, you feel like you need to do a thousand connections a day. You know, I'm over-exaggerating there, but you feel like you've constantly got to be on this on this wheel and what lands up happening is that you end up getting your accounts into jail mm. and you stress yourself out because leads aren't coming in. What you need to do is have one arrow hit one target versus trying to hit four targets with one arrow at the same time. Oh, I love that. Say that again. You want to hit one arrow with one target. We call this the power of one. Solve one big problem for one ideal client. And the more specific you can get to that, the more people are going to, number one, connect with you. Number two, be interested in what you have to say and how you say it, right? But number three, not wear yourself out. I mean, damn, it is. it is. You can spend hours on there and get zero results and people shouting at you and saying, listen, you, I don't even know you. I'm not even interested. Or you could do it the right way. Go for quality over quantity. You need one arrow to hit one target. You know, for most of our clients, what we realize is, you know, a handful of clients can completely change their current financial situation. And that's what we help them do. Mm, I love it. It's like the 80-20 rule, right? I mean, it, we always, I always come back to that. Like 80% of your clients might right now might be costing you more money than it's, yeah. than it's worth. So why not? Why not niche down? Why not refine? I mean, guys, I just want to, I just want to say, does this sound familiar to you? <laughs> do I not preach this from the mountaintops? I can see that you do by the video that you had, right? I right. can see you go deep into this. I right. love it. Right. So, you know, Matt has a really great point. When you solve one problem for one specific client, then it's a lot easier to communicate, isn't it? So I, I was taught from one of my branding mentors is speak to a client, not an audience, right? It's a lot easier to speak to a client. So envision that client in your head, put a name to him or her and start putting out information, start putting out content, start connecting as if you were speaking to that person, right? That's yeah. going to drill down f phenomenally well and it's going to, it's going to hit, it's going to connect, right? Okay. So go ahead. Once we got that done, 
Yep. And so the second mistake um, that most people make is that they're actually just having the wrong conversations, right? You know, so many times because they're not targeting the right person, they're going over of, of quantity versus quality. What ends up happening is that, you know, there's this notion, you know, on what you said is that it's you're either B2B or you're B2C. The truth is, is that we're human to human, right? It doesn't matter if you're trying to connect with the CEO of a large corporate, like a lot of our clients do, or if you're trying to connect with a business owner or an HR director or just a normal person, we're in the human to human game. So the big mistake that most people make is that the first thing that they do is when they connect with someone, they immediately try and sell. Okay. So first off, targeting is wrong, but then they immediately try and sell straight on LinkedIn, try to get them on a call or get them to book into their diary or just going straight for the jugular immediately without building up that relationship, without building up those connections first. Mm. Right. I love it. What they then do is they go, because they're stressing out about leads and sales, they now become very pushy and they don't really care about the conversation that they're having. They're not connecting with that person on a personal level, looking through their profile, seeing what they, some good talking points are and really building up conversation. And then the last part is, uh, uh, is that they use canned messages. Oh God, I hate it. Right. So the last part of the second mistake is that they're using canned messages. Now, here's the thing. A lot of the LinkedIn people out there, and it seems like there's new guys popping up, guys and girls popping up every single day, they're telling you to do all of this stuff, Mm. right? Mm. And what happens is that you send lots of messages, you try and answer everyone, and you can actually land up wasting your entire day without getting any results, right? And it's scary, right? It's it's a big waste of time, right? Yeah, it's a huge waste of time and it, 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 it's, it's just, it's counterproductive, right? It's counterproductive. All right. So now that we point, now that we're, we're done pointing fingers and is telling everybody how much their LinkedIn lead gen sucks. <laughs> yeah. Now, again, guys, you know me, but maybe there's some newbies that are listening and watching. I'm not up here trying to point fingers saying we know it all and you guys suck. I just want to make that loud and clear. I'm just coming up with a hooky headline with a, with a catchy headline because I want you guys to really pay attention. All right. I really want you guys to pay attention. So we're not going to leave you hanging. The next part of the show, let's talk about how we can actually flip this for them and really help them dial in who their ideal client is, speak to the problems that they're actually trying to solve or that the problem, the actual problems that the potential clients actually have. So, Let's let's give them now the solution. Let's help let's help these guys and gals. Perfect. 100%. You know, and the reason that we're I'm able to tell you what's wrong and what sucks is because I was there in the beginning. So was so I. This is my journey in the beginning. Mm-hmm. And now we know what actually works so that you can connect with people. So, pretty simple. If you want to um go from really struggling and you know, solving the wrong problem. First thing that you need to do is you want to be able to attract perfect leads. Okay. How you do this is very simple. There's three things that you need to do. Number one is you need to have clarity, clarity around who your ideal client is. Go for that one arrow for one target. So think what is one client that I can solve one big problem for? The second part of this is your message. So how do you convey that in a way that people know how to work with you before they even talk to you? Yeah, I love that. And I, and I think that uh, not to cut you off, I think the, another oh. great way of finding that information out, cause I know what my audience is saying now. Okay. That sounds good, but how do I do that? Right. Give me, give me okay. something. Right. So what I would do is I, and this is how I do it with all my brand accelerator clients is when we get done with the project, right? I have one that I have to do today. When we get done with a, with a brand dev and launch it. I take 15, 20 minutes with the client and I jump on Zoom and I ask them pointed questions. Why did you reach out to us in the first place? What would you say about somebody that was on the fe- somebody that's on the fence about hiring us? Um, what was what was the experience like? working with us? So I'm asking these pointed questions to get feedback. What didn't you like about the program? right? I would love to make it better, right? So I ask these questions of current clients and 
the feedback is marvelous. That's the best word I can think yeah. of right now, right? That, and then that gives you the meat and potatoes you need to go out there and put that content out there, right? Yep. Hundred percent. And so I want to flip that as well because some of the people that we work with, they don't have those clients in the beginning to go out and get. So the process that we take them through is a very similar process, but we change where we actually ask those questions. So what we'll do is if they're not sure on who the ideal client is, what problem they solve, what problems their ideal clients want to be solved, we'll get them to go and interview a bunch of people who could be an ideal client right? Who could be potentials and start asking, what are the big pains and frustrations? What are the fears keeping them up at night? The implications. Where, where do you go for that? Those... Sorry? Where do you go for that? LinkedIn. Like, oh, so you interview them on LinkedIn through Messenger? Yeah. So what we'll actually do is we'll get them to reach out, um, tell them that, hey, look, I'm busy putting a pro- program together that's going to help this ideal client achieve this result. I'm looking to interview a bunch of people um, to get some more feedback. And then in return for your time, I'll give you something of value. Okay. Right. And so you can actually interview them and you can down, you can actually download from their brain. What is the big things that they want solved? That then becomes your ideal client and the big problem that you solve. Um, I was talking with a, uh, um, with a friend of mine, uh, Bob Berg. Um, I don't know if you've read the speed reader, dude, you know, Bob, the speed reader guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bob also did, um, the go giver. He wrote a book called the go giver. That's an amazing correct. book. Right. And so I actually did an interview with Bob as well. And you can see it on my LinkedIn profile, um, around how to find the ideal clients and how to really build that connection. And interesting enough, he came up with the same thing. He said, go and interview a whole bunch of people, give them something of value in return for their time. That's going to help you identify their key problems. Now, we've seen a lot of people who've come in and they're completely shifted. They've completely switched who they thought their ideal client was because they found a bigger set of problems that they knew that they could solve that was more valuable to a different target market. I see. My, so my things get fun. Yeah. So, but my, my meter's going off like, all right, my time is so, my time is so valuable. You're asking me for an interview, right? Like the first thing is in, in, in my head, right? Is, well, what's in it for me? Why, why should I, why should I take on this interview? Right. So yes. I'm just, I want to play devil's advocate here because I, I love it. I, I love where you're going. But I'm thinking if somebody reached out to me and said, can I interview you? Oh, man, I, I'm thinking, well, how big is your audience? I'm going that route. Like, how is this going to help build brand awareness and solve my goals? Right. So if, help me help us. Perfect. So, you know, a message reaching out to you could be something along the lines of this. Uh, hey, Henry. Um, I'm reaching out because I help podcast hosts um, get more clients um, using LinkedIn in the next 30 days. Um, I'm busy putting together a program to achieve these goals. Uh, I'd love to ask you a couple of questions and take five or 10 minutes of your time. Um, No sales pitch. In return for your time, uh, I'm going to give you a, a free guide on five ways to position your profile to start picking up clients today. Okay, I like that. Is it too ballsy to say, all right, I'm going to put this program together and when I'm done with it, I'll give you access to it for free? So I will do that on the interview call. Got it. Okay, see that, guys? See how he packaged that? That's a lot different. Because now you're seeding the next thing. So at the end of it, once you've had this amazing conversation with the guys – Um, What you do is then you ask them the question and you say to them, well, you know, um, so I'm busy putting this program together. It's going to be ready in the next couple of weeks. Are you open to having a conversation? Would you like me to let you know when it's ready um, and introduce you to the beta group? And if they say yes, well, then you know you've got someone that's interested in buying your stuff. Ah, okay. Clients quickly, man. Got it. Got it. Got it. 
I like how you- We've had people use this exact strategy and go from 5K months to 25K months within four weeks. Oh man, I love it. I, I, I like the strategy. I did something similar back in the day. You know, it's funny. It's actually paying off two years later. So about two years ago, yeah. right? I was using LinkedIn Sales Navigator and I was yeah. I was pinpointing who I really wanted on my show. My show was, you know, uh, about two years old. So it had some steam behind it. And I was reaching out to some high profile people and they were respond, very responsive to coming on the show. So I, I, again, I want to share with the audience and I want to challenge you guys and invite you guys to start building your brand assets. If you don't have one already, like a podcast, or if you yeah. do make sure you leverage it properly to make those relationships, make those connections. So fast forward, right? I'm on clubhouse. I see one of the moderators in this in the clubhouse room, and it's somebody that I interviewed two years ago who's been following me ever since quietly. He brings me up onto the stage on clubhouse, makes me a moderator, and says to me, dude, I'm going to edify the, the heck out of you up here because you have helped me so much since we've met. Now he had never shared that with that. He had never shared that with me at all. What did that open up and create? I've been moderating rooms with him with hundreds of people. And the amount of brand awareness that that has created has been substantial. Right. Stunning. Right. So look at those relationships. And if you're, if you're truly out there to serve, it's going to come across in your communication. If you're out there to leverage business, it's going to come out in your communication, right? So 100%. pick one. And which one do you think is going to drive it further? So before we wrap up, I want, I want to get people over into your, into your, uh, you have like a little webinar on your, on your page. I want to get people to that, but here's a question for you that, I want to ask because I think it's going to help our audience really differentiate themselves from other people that do what you do. So, so we had Jesus Corona on the show a couple of weeks ago. The show, yeah, the show published a couple of weeks ago. He does exactly what you do. Exactly. Like, like the format, the, the pitch, everything is exactly the same. So what are you doing? to stand out from your competition from a branding standpoint? So from a branding standpoint, you know, ours is about results. Uh, it's about getting specific results in a specific time frame. You know, just getting leads, you can get leads from anywhere. Um, what people really want is they want clients. And for a lot of our audience, the kind of numbers that they want to get to is they want to get to that 25K per month. So, you know, for us, our um, brand promise and, and our goal to help people to really achieve is 25K per month within 12 weeks um, and help them build not only just a lead generation system, but a client acquisition system so they can have multiple streams of leads, predictable, repeatable sales and scalable client delivery. So once they get to that 25K per month, man, it's about business growth um, where LinkedIn leads forms one piece of the puzzle. Got it. I love it. So when, so, and, and, and what if, like, what if they don't hit the 25 K a month in that time frame? What is the, is there a guarantee or some sort of, what is that? What does that look like? Yeah. So, uh, we don't do money back guarantees or whatever, but what we do do is we screen our clients, um, in a big way to make sure we've got the right people coming in that have got the right tools, the right assets, it's all about the qualification and we actually teach this as part of our process as well. Um, you know, coming from the door to door sales, dude, you got to have a solid sales process in place. So I've taken that and molded that into what we do on LinkedIn. So first is qualification. Uh, once they're in and if, if they've got all the right pieces and they do all the work, they get everything done and they don't hit the goal, then we'll work with them until they do. Okay. Right. Because we know as well, people don't come and work with us because they want their money back. They want the result. Correct. So 
we make the promise and we're very hands on. Um, you know, we're not one of those. I mean, we got a fairly decent sized organization. I've got 12 people on my team. Um, but I'm involved as well. Okay. You know, we're very hands on and we care. I mean, we had one of our clients this morning that I was speaking to. Um, he's a coach and, uh, in December, he went from $15,000 a month to closing $140,000 in business. That month. In December. Beautiful. Yeah, huge. And we solved a very big problem for him. So now what he wants to do is he's putting together a group of coaches that are kind of uh, teaching the same methodology. And we're putting a cohort together to help them with the same system that we helped him with to get to those levels. And some of the guys want to get to 20, 25, 15 to 25 K. He's like, nah, I want to be hitting 600 to a million a year. Done. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Before we run out of time, Matt, this was great. Matt, I appreciate you coming on and really sharing this stuff with us because I know it, it, I've learned some things too, uh, over this 25 minutes. I wasn't sure we were going to get it done in in 25 minutes, but we, we were able to rock that out. So, um, for those folks that want to learn more about this system, where can we send them? Awesome. So, uh, Two places. Um, first place is you welcome to connect with me on LinkedIn, right? Look for Matt, Matt Clark essay. Uh, second place is I've got a little gift for you on my website, uh, www.thevirtualedge.com. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see there's something called the 20 minute profile makeover, which will really start you with dialing in that ideal client, getting your brand message out there, and the first steps on getting your profile set up in a way that's going to attract your ideal clients. Then there's a little bit more training after that that you can go deeper on. And if you want to talk to us, click the link, book a time. Um, otherwise, there's one other thing I'll, I'll do for your listeners, Henry, is that if they want to just skip all of that, they like what they hear, talk to us directly, you can just reach out to me on connect at thevirtualedge.com. And uh, talk to a real human. I love it. I love it. Matt, what a pleasure, man. What a great way to start my morning. It's 10 o'clock. It was 10 o'clock over here where we kicked this off. So this is great stuff. Again, guys, go check out those links and we will make sure that those are in the notes as well. So you can have instant access to it. Um, I hope you got some value out of today, guys. You know, I, I am a huge proponent of helping my audience try to generate qualified leads. And we will do what we can and bring on the experts that we can to help you do that. And I think Matt gave some really solid advice, um, revealed some of the roadblocks, and really, really, really gave some clarity on what the outreach should actually be, right? So I hope you got some great value out of this, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this with somebody who may need this sort of insight to help them grow and build their brand. I will catch you on the next episode, my friends. Take care. God bless. Hey, everyone. This is Henry Kaminsky Jr. again. And really quick, I want to invite you to a one-on-one consult with me right now. If you're looking for the clarity and focus you need to build your brand. brand. Over the past 13 years, I've served hundreds of entrepreneurs that have great products but struggled tremendously with articulating its value to their ideal customers. You didn't get in the business to just change a few lives, did you? Your ideal clients need you. And when your brand has precision crafted messaging coupled with beautifully thoughtful design that sounds, looks, and feels like you, they'll know you're the perfect match for them. If this is something you're struggling with, what I want you to do right now is pause this audio and go visit www.uniquedesigns with a Z at the end, not an S, .net and book your one-on-one console call with me. Remember, the quality of your brand will determine the quality of your clients and the quality of your clients will determine the quality of your life.